Karrion Cross, Scarlett Bordeaux, Dexter Loomis, Dakota Kai, EO Sky, Hit Row. Those are some of the names that have been brought back recently to the WWE because of Triple H taking over creative and having some future plans for these people that have been brought back to the company over the recent month or so, as well as trying to strengthen the depth on the main roster. Well, it looks like we might be getting one more person coming back to the WWE, and he is a monster among men. And yes, I am talking about the former Universal Champion, Braun Strowman. What's going on, everybody? This is MYG Jeffy T 3285, and I have a quick news update about Braun Strowman and the fact that he's going to be returning to the WWE as soon as this Monday Night Raw upcoming in Kansas City. There are rumors going around that have been going rampant about Braun Strowman potentially making his WWE return after Triple H took over creative around the time of SummerSlam late last month. And now the rumors are turning, turning out to be true as PW Insiders Dave Meltzer as well as the Wrestling Observer's Dave Meltzer have all reported that Braun Strowman is pretty much all but confirmed returning back to the WWE and his return could possibly be coming as soon as Monday Night Raw as he is scheduled to be at Monday Night Raw this coming Monday in Kansas City and that would be for some and for a lot of others a welcome, welcome surprise and a welcome person to have back in the company as Braun Strowman when he was at his heights he was easily one of the biggest people over with the company back in 2017 when he was having feuds with Roman Reigns and arguably that was the most over feud at that time and Braun Strowman was highly over with the crowd overall. Braun Strowman was signed originally to the WWE back in 2014 where he worked in developmental and obviously he was part of the Wyatt family when, they, when he debuted around 2016 and he officially was part of the Wyatt family that time with Bray Wyatt and Eric Rowan until eventually he broke out on his own and he had feuds with Bray Wyatt at the time but he really did not start taking off until his one feud he had with Roman Reigns back in 2017 when he was the heel Roman Reigns was the face and they had some of the most brutal matchups out there including an ambulance match that happened that year which Braun Strowman ended up winning at that time Braun Strowman also is a former WWE Universal Champion which he won back in 2020 against Goldberg he's a former Intercontinental Champion he's a former two-time Raw Tag Team Champion which he won with Nicholas we all know how that, that was back a couple of years ago, as well as Seth Rollins. He's also a former Money in the Bank winner back in 2018, and he's a former Andre the Giant Battle Royal winner, as well as a former Greatest Royal Rumble winner in 2019. Both of that happened in 2019. He unfortunately lost the title back in... He unfortunately, needed, he unfortunately lost the title back in... 2020 when he was in the middle of a, th a triple threat match with Bray Wyatt and uh, Roman Reigns and then after that he pretty much was released late last late 2020 early 2021 where he's been spending most of his time working in his independent wrestling promotion with EC3 called Control Your Narrative and that's what Braun Strowman was doing recently until that promotion abruptly came to a halt and now Braun Strowman looks like he's going to be on his way back to the WWE in the near future. I was never really the biggest Braun Strowman fan. I thought he hit his peak back in 2017 and I thought they should have given him the title during that either that fatal four-way match that happened at SummerSlam between him, Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, and Samoa Joe, or especially at Great Balls of Fire when he had a one-on-one -on -one match against Brock Lesnar. He should have captured the title at that point. And after he lost that match, I thought he lost all of his steam at that time, and that pretty much hurt his chances of really getting back over with the fans. And otherwise that, he was really deemed as a comedic act at the time, obviously having a, a, a feud with... Elias at the time including a sympathy sympathy symphony match 
with Elias at the time, and he just pretty much lost all his steam. He's pretty much known as a guy that just tips over large objects, breaks breaks large objects. That's the type of character he had at the time, and just didn't go over as much as uh, the fans were hoping. So, Braun Strowman now looks like he's going to get a renewed energy coming back. He is a big guy that can work, and if you use him correctly, Braun Strowman could be an asset to the Monday Night Raw roster going forward. And you're curious to see what kind of feuds he's going to be able to have coming back to Monday Night Raw for the WWE. So... I'll give him a second chance. I want to see how Triple H is going to be able to book him. He is a big guy that can work. He was over with the fans, and I know the fans are going to be happy to see the monster among men back in the WWE going forward. So let's see what Braun Strowman could do. He could be back as early as Monday Night Raw in Kansas City. We'll have to see what Braun Strowman has in store for the WWE as he makes his way back to the world, makes his makes his way back to the World Wrestling Entertainment in the near future. So I just want to give you guys this quick little uh, update. Braun Strowman looks like he's on his way back to the WWE, and I'm curious to see how he's going to be booked when he makes his return to the World Wrestling Entertainment. So if you guys like this video, please hit the like button below. Subscribe if you haven't already to MYG Jeffy T3285 for more breaking news updates and chatter surrounding the WWE as well as the New York Football Giants, the New York Mets, Brooklyn Nets, and as well as Food for Thought. Turn on the bell for notifications on when the next video or short are going to be dropping on the channel. And let me know in the comments section what you think about Braun Strowman making his return to the WWE. What feuds you're looking forward to seeing the monster among men. go. Uh, what feuds you're looking forward to seeing him go in against in the WWE. As well as what you think he's going to be able to provide the WWE in the near and future going forward. So I thank you very much, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. And let's see what WWE SmackDown has in store for us tomorrow night on Friday, as well as Clash at the Castle on Saturday at 1 p.m. and Worlds Collide, NXT Worlds Collide, on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern. But Braun Strowman is on his way back. Braun!